Hi Aries babies, this is going to be the final reading of the night. You guys are the last Zodiac. Welcome in, welcome in to all the returners, all the newbies, and for the other newbies that are just coming onto this video today or whenever you do see this, welcome in as well. I hope to see you again. Hit that like and subscribe button and join the fan bam over here. I will be leaving my other platforms in the description box. I will be going TikTok live in about an hour and a half, so make sure you guys are following me on all my other platforms. My Instagram as well. Also shopping in my store if you're interested in my spiritual candles. They are selling fast. Every time I restock, they sell fast. Okay, so make sure you're checking that out as well. What's the energy here? Also, if you want to book a personal, my booking site will also be in the description box. What's this current energy for Aries? Take what resonates with you. Leave what does not resonate with you. It's not going to all be your energy. It's going to be a lot of people coming across this video. So take what resonates for you and leave what does not. It could be past, present, or near future. What is this energy for Aries? What's this overall energy? 111 in the chat. Some of y'all could be seeing 111 a lot, Aries. We have the Nine of Wands coming out. We have the Moon coming out. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Scorpio. And then we have the Eight of Wands. Someone could be gathering the courage to come towards you with some type of communication. They may even be scared about doing this. You may not also see this coming either. This could be you, Aries, or a Cross Watcher. Someone could have options in love, a lot of options in love, or this was someone that had options. That's how you're going to know who this person is. Or they feel like you're building with someone else, or you have options, or you went towards someone else. Take it how it resonates. What's this energy? Whoa. Yeah, for your pinnacles coming right back out. What's this energy? Some of y'all could be starting a business. Or thinking about it or trying to figure out what you want to do long term with your life that's a side message okay two 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 energy look and then we have the lovers crossing the three of pentacles somebody definitely had a third party or they have options yes the three of wands so someone chose to move forward and turn their back on the situation but someone's gathering the courage here to come in and have some type of communication with someone I feel like when this communication comes in, someone's going to want to know what was hidden from them. Like, why did somebody feel like they had to, they had to lie or they needed to lie about something? Some of you guys can be hiding a new lover too. Because I see forward movement here. Eight of wands to the three of wands. Some of y'all can have a new lover too. Okay, Aries, take it how it resonates, but you're keeping it hidden. You're keeping more things private and to yourself these days. Yeah, high priest, but you're being guided to do that. You're being guided to keep certain things to yourself because you have toxic people. Capricorn energy that want to stop you from taking leaps of faith, going towards new love. Some of y'all could be focusing on your money heavy right now. And I see you getting justice. If you were having money issues, I see that turning around for you. Libra energy. Aries energy. This is Queen of Pentacles. So that's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. And we have Cancer with the Cherry. I see you overcoming something. Things getting better for you. Can I get one more message here? Yeah, your overall energy is the high priest and the ace of wands. You're being guided to move forward from certain situations, certain people, or a specific person and go towards your ace of pentacles. Because if you don't, you're going to miss out. Yeah, four of cups on your ten of pentacles. And you're going to be in heavy regret. So this is a time to make serious sacrifices and to actually go in solitude, spend some time to yourself, alone, Virgo energy, do some self-reflecting, reevaluating. Okay? Let's get this energy here because somebody's coming back your way for some of you. What is this energy?
You guys are our last Zodiac <laughs> for the night, okay? I will not be doing Zodiacs again until another week or a week and a half from now. All right, y'all? I try to do Zodiacs every week or week and a half, okay? But in the meantime, within that week and a half, I do post like two collectives, sometimes three, all right? So, Only time it'll take me almost two weeks, I'll just do straight collectives. If I know I don't have time to do Zodiacs is if I'm really busy. And I have been super busy lately, but I've been trying to literally keep myself consistent, y'all. So I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> That's probably why my platforms are blowing up and, and really growing. So I appreciate y'all and I love y'all, okay? What's this energy? Some of y'all could be dealing with a Taurus. So I almost said Taurus, okay? So, some of y'all might want to go check that Taurus reading out, which it was a crazy reading, but some of y'all might want to go check that out. What's this energy here for Aries? Wild side. This came out in um Gemini or Leo reading, okay? So, take that how that resonates. Someone's coming back your way, though. Don't feed into the BS, though. I feel like somebody's going to want to get a reaction out of you because they see you as a missed opportunity. Didn't I just say that over here? Don't miss out on opportunities because you will regret it if you don't take this chance to have your ace of pinnacles and set boundaries. Somebody feels like they should have treated you better or they should have acted when they were there. They should have acted a certain way, treated you a certain way. Yeah, they put you in the third party. For some of you, you were definitely put in a third party here. There was another lover. For some of you, they were attached to an ex, okay? I'm attached to my ex physically, emotionally, and or spiritually. I need time and space to break this connection. So, yeah, there's a third party here. For some of you, it's an ex. They try to escape this. They thought they have a soul tie with you, and they've been holding back. So they will be contacting you soon, and they may be asking you for a commitment, and they may be revealing some things to you. Because in this moment, they're doing some reflecting, okay? Things are becoming so much clear for them. Being away from you is, is allowing them to gain some type of clarity. All right, y'all? So, you will be hearing from this person soon. <laughs> All right? Um, let me get a message from here, too. What's this energy for Aries? Don't wait for me, please. Yeah, so somebody doesn't want you to wait on them. But at the same time, they don't want to see you be with anybody else. Like It's, it's, it's honestly giving me somebody wants you to live your life. But at the same time, <laughs> they want to be in your life. But it's like somebody has decisions to make. Yeah, because the way they treated you was wrong. And they know that. The way I treated you was wrong. They know that. They feel like you triggered them. You triggered some type of emotions. I can't talk to you right now. So this person feel like they can't talk to you at this very moment. Or this was their past energy because the eight of wands is here. So they may be reaching out to you soon. Yeah, because the way they treated you was wrong and they're afraid of losing you. Some of you, the sex could have been good. They may be, good. be careful of them coming in in this energy of trying to have sex with you again. But yeah, they have painful memories in their past. Something you did triggered them. Okay. Something you did trigger them for sure. Let's get a message from this deck. Let's get a message here for Aries. Let's get a message here for Aries. Some of y'all could be seeing 911. The number 911. I'm also hearing like 4444. 44, so fours, okay. What's this energy for Aries? The storms will pass away and I still will be here with you for good. This person feels like when you guys are going to get through the storm, you guys are going to be together. <laughs> they feel like you guys are going to get through this storm. From time to time, we will have a happy ending if you and me both empathize and love each other for our true selves. It's like this person wants you to love them flaws and all, and I feel like you did. You you did care about this person a lot. 
So I just feel like this person at this point, they're going to come in telling you any and everything. They are aware that they were wrong and that they did you wrong. But I don't feel like this person has changed much, okay? Maybe we have so many differences and I can't, and I just can't meet your standards. Yeah, like this person feels like y'all have too many differences. Maybe we have too many differences and I just can't meet your standards. I got to know more about you. So yeah, this person feels like they don't, they don't know much or they're not enough. Maybe they need to get to know you more. Is it my negativity keeping you away from me? I won't let you know that I adore the way that you smell, your hair, and the whole you. And somebody is like, <laughs> I don't want to say obsessed, but they just the thought of you, the way you smell or the way you feel, just they love it. They love all of it, every part of it. <laughs> That's what I'm getting here. They love all of it, every part of it. Okay, but that is what I got here for y'all. I love y'all. To all the newbies, the returners. I will see y'all in the next video. And for some of you, I'll see you on TikTok Live tonight. All right, y'all. Bye. Oh, make sure y'all hit the like button. Like the video. Subscribe if you liked it, if it resonated, or you just simply enjoyed the read and my overall energy. All right, y'all. Bye now.